next guest is absolutely no stranger to our home, and he's here today to teach us how to bring the flavors of Bangkok street markets right into your kitchen with his pork and basil stir fry. It smells good in here, ladies and gentlemen. Please welcome back the awesome chef, Jet Tila. What's up, welcome, man? Buddy. Oh, dude, loving you, missing you guys. Missing it's you good too, to buddy. be here, brother. Great um, to see you again. This is awesome. I'm glad you're getting the pork right in the pan right away because I know we're cooking this in real time. Yeah. Literally, you could be following <laughs> along with us at home if you want to like replay this. I mean, that's how it should be, right? I mean, yeah. you know, I mean, I want to I want to do it correctly, and you can. So uh, basil pork, uh, we call it pat grapao in Thai cooking. It just literally translates to stir fry of basil. Okay. And what uh, protein is up to you? But pork is a really popular one. That's why I wanted to do it uh, this way. And another fun trick is so we got the pan really really hot. I saw uh, that. I've got the pork going in. Use the surface area of the pan. That's what it's all about. Okay. And then check it out. I'm actually going garlic with skin. I noticed that. I want to ask right you about that. Right into the pan. Chop the garlic with the skin on. What's up with that? You know, uh, there's no real reason why you can't do that. The skin uh, in this really hot oil crisps up and it becomes a crispy bit, dude. And then that's what we like. We like crispy garlic. So as long as the pan's hot, I want you to do it like they do on the streets because this is a very old school street food. And uh, it's very simple to execute as well. That's brother. pretty so, amazing, man. Okay, yeah, now are, you gonna man. Build, are you going to build the sauce right there in the same a, in the same a pan? A thousand percent. And then you know, in my oh, in my last book, I showed a lot of people how to do spicy basil stir fry one way. I'm going to show you how they do it in the street. In the last book, it's like stir frying everything. Yeah. But look, I'm going to add a little stock. I don't want a lot of color on this, so I've seared the pork. Now I'm actually going to. Um, uh, braise it in a way. It's a very quick braise. And then look, the, the, the liquid creates steam. The steam create, helps build the sauce. All right, let's oh do it. My God. Sweet soy, which is molasses and soy sauce. There you go. Okay. Fish sauce, which is for the savory and the salt. Fish sauce is all is Thai food. And then oyster sauce, because it's um, a stir fry, uh, it's really a Chinese in roots. Does that make sense? So this is all going to come up, brother. And then um, the best way right to now, eat this. How is it? Tell me, man. The flavors are absolutely, honestly, insane. Like, it's absolutely insane. You guys are going to love this if you make it at home. You got to do this. Okay. Oh, for sure. Now, check it out. I'm going to give you... All right, I'm being controversial. May I be controversial for a minute? You may. I'm going to add MSG, all right? And you can be mad, and you can worry, but if you cook it at home and you don't want to do it, leave it out. But um, I wanted to write a book and tell the story of our grandmothers. And yeah. I'm of that opinion that MSG is not really bad for you. But okay. again, we can argue it and you can look it up. Listen. Yeah, dude. There's always, there's <laughs> always, I think it's really important actually to, to be able to tell two sides of a story on something. So exactly. I, think it's I think it's important because all of a sudden we can believe one side without the other side being heard. So there you go. Yep. We can do our own research. Uh, MSG is a flavor it. enhancer. Okay. Again, uh, again, if you're sensitive, just leave it out, guys. I'm not um, making anyone do it. Yep. I just want you to know that I cook it, I do this at home. What all right, check it out. What is the madness happening here, it's, Jet? Well, it's madness. Look, you know what? We all keep saying fry an egg, fry an egg, but no one really fries an egg. This that is, is what you're supposed egg, to do. Man. Check it out. What you want to do is get the oil to like 350, and I'm ladling the oil. And the oil is basting the egg, and it's making it super fluffy on top. Uh, it's so fast and easy. You're not going to end up eating all this oil. I have a slotted spoon, yep. and then I'm going to pick it up. I'm going to drain it, and then as it drains, I'm just using the oil as a frying medium. So I'm just basting as I go. Well, I'm, I'm eating the uh, fried egg, the truly <laughs> fried egg here, and it is. It's just packed with flavor. I love it. A little crisp on the bottom, too. Yeah, so Amazing. on this side, look, pork is about 80% uh, done, right? Okay. The sauce is reduced. Uh, the liquid in the, yep. the chicken stock. So you like that sauce reduced. Very Absolutely, nice. which is basically uh, reduction creates a nice glaze. And now I'm going to add basil. This is Thai basil. The oh, pao is, uh, so it has a very like a black licorice yeah. anise flavor to it. It does. Big question I get, like, mm. hey, Jed, I'm in middle America. I can't find these ingredients. Well, the sauces you buy on the internet, the fish sauce, the sweet soy sauce, the oyster, easy. Basil, if you can't find it, just use Italian basil. Don't not cook something because you're missing something. What's the big difference between Italian uh, basil and Thai? Smell basil. that. Okay. It, all it is is the intensity yeah. of the anise There is flavor. a little licorice, too. That's all it is. That's all it is. I mean, the Italian basil has mm. licorice flavor in it, okay. but just not to the extent of Thai gotcha. basil. So again, if you want to do a tiny bit of fennel, uh, if you want to uh, blitz up a little fennel into a, a powder, that works, too, go. to a little back backup. But it's so easy, like cooking. You, you don't not cook because you're intimidated. Um, that's what I'm here for. You know what I mean? That's what chefs like myself. You make it so relatable, for. man. It is you easy, really do. brother. Yeah. Listen, as you're plating that with the rice, we got to talk about date night cooking. Yes. Of course, on a Food Network Kitchen. That's right. Um, you and Allie doing your things. Tell us about it. You got it. So uh, my wife, Allie, Tila, and myself, 
on uh, the platform Food Network Kitchen, we are doing date nights, um, basically three dishes from scratch, real time. So go to the website, or go to the app, get it, get the shopping list, and we cook it with you. And she cooks and I cook it, so you and your loved one uh, can cook really great dishes like steak au poivre. You yep. can do, uh, you know, uh, roasted chicken. Do you do you somehow scallops. prepare the audience, the, the viewers, with with a list of ingredients first, like so they're they're obviously uh, ready to go. That is the beauty. Because then they'll cook with you in real time. That's the beauty of the app. Like you've got the shopping list, you've okay, got uh, everything you need, um, right there. It is it is solid. Look at that. We still have thirty this seconds ridiculous. to spare. <laughs> this everyone should be cooking in real time. Uh, yeah, that's such a weird for a You're it's unbelievable, easy. dude. No, Look, no, no. I just want to know why your serving's better than mine. <laughs> uh, uh, Jet, you're amazing, man. We so appreciate you here. Thanks for all of the amazing recipes and the insights and the wisdom you brought into the kitchen. I'm super grateful for it. It's you. been an honor to be a part of the Home and Family family, and uh, yeah, it's not over. Like, that's whatever over, happens, man. we're always going to be family. We're always going to be family. I love so, that. That's thank the, you so that's much. That's the big takeaway, everybody. All right, for more delicious recipes from Jet, be sure to grab a copy of 101 Epic Dishes. And as always, uh, full recipe, hallmarkchannel.com, everybody.